Konnichiwa, meaning and Shizukura, and you're watching Pucky Collins today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on a PlayStation 1 game. And that is Lightning Legend Daigo no Daiboken. I have no idea, but it's a 3D fighter, and I'm excited to give it a try. This is up to two players and uses one um, save slot, and yeah. As always, 10 minutes to play the game, first time playing my version of, and I can't skip anything. Let's get the timer started. Timer has been started, and away we go. <laughs> that was interesting. Okay. No. We get Kitty the... Oh, oh wow. Okay. So we have her... We have that thingy. What? What? There's somebody all the way back there? That's hilarious. I have to try this character. I don't know why, but I like her. Physics. And I will be facing... Let's go against her. Chapter 1! What? Why? That's... I'm not disappointed that the, uh... Story goes... In sprite form. That's just... Weird. Okay, moving on. Hello! Huh? You? Aren't we supposed to battle? Um, we're here complaining about something because we were told to come and complain. But, um, why are you here? As we said, we're here to complain. And we're complaining. Just go away. Yeah, nobody wants you here. Look, everything just fight already. I agree, let's have a fight. Yes, that's a wonderful idea. Sure, I think that'd be great. Let's fight. Because that way, if we uh, can see who's the better, then we automatically win. Um... What? Just fight. But what if I don't want to fight? I just came over here to... <laughs> Destiny has chosen you! Oh, hello there, old man. How are you doing today? Anything new? Yeah, I'm strong. What's going on? Oh, I want to see the keys walk across the thing. Ugh, it's cold. So, hi. I'm supposed to fight you? <laughs> fight? You're going to lose. What'd you say? I like the music. The music's not bad. But this is so weird that the, the cutscenes are in sprite form. Let's fight. Yeah, let's do it. It'll be fun to see who's the better. Yeah, don't worry. That's me. No, it's not. Don't worry. I'll go easy on you. So it's Mayo and Yuki. The kitties! Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> what? But she's just standing up. That's hilarious. Okay, we got that. Oh, sweet. Oh, of course, she's going to get a... Oh, maximum. I don't even want to know. 
Yep, I win because you wouldn't fight. Oh, wow, what the heck just happened? Oh, I made her mad. What the heck? Oh, so the taunt literally makes you lose all your power. You little piece of crap. Yeah, she does stay there. Okay. Ah! Oh, I actually got it to work. That was ha uh, back, backwards half and then a circle. Ooh. Nice. I was worried there for a moment. Oh, I made her cry. I feel bad. Even see my character's kind of like, uh, <laughs> well, we were fighting. Quit your crying, because we're warriors. You should be strong. Even though you lost, you fought valiantly. Never show tears to you, those that you've lost, too. Really? Yeah, because we can still be friends. We'll be able to fight some more. Don't you think that's awesome? I guess so. It does make me feel better. Maybe. Mm, well, I, I, don't worry. We're friends now, right? Okay. So we're going across the map. Next person's here. Who am I fighting? Ooh, the music just changed. We're in a forest. Very dark forest, too. Ooh. It's still cold. What's going on? Who? Or right, wait. I forget which one that one is. I'm just. <laughs> 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 uh, Nani? Um. Hi. <laughs> you don't talk very much, do you? So. Are you my next opponent? I am the awesome, undefeatable Mayo at your service. You will be defeated, evil one. No? <laughs> Moko Moko is my person. Okay. <laughs> What was that all about? What the crap? Oh, stopped me when I was doing it. What the crap? His reaches. This makes no sense. Ah, oh, he's not gonna let me power up at all. What the crap? He's like screen filling. Odd job, anybody? Wow, I just went right over him.
Wow. Cheap. Well, I found the character that they basically block from all tournaments. Yeah, go screw yourself, you ball of fart. It's going to eat me. Okay. All in all, the game isn't too bad. Looks really good. Storyline is so bizarre that's in this. That thing should die and be sent to hell where it came from because it's not a fair character at all. Who in the right mind thought this would be a good idea? I know. Let's add in a ball of fluff that basically takes up the whole screen. Um, high attacks basically almost go over his head almost every single time. And it's very easy for him to block everything. You gotta be kidding me. Honestly, who thought that was a good idea? Despite that little turd bucket right there, not bad. Um, I like the concept of why you're trying to power up that way you can build your chi. The other person can use the taunt ability to basically make you lose your alpha meter. That's really cool. I like that idea. That is very clever. Um, messing around with the moves, I was able to get several of them off. I was able to get one of the, uh, you know, get her a, a alpha attack off which is really good so I'm just checking real quick so oh so it's it was actually a full half circle and then any of the attacks okay so yeah hers is literally is backwards Hadouken um Shriyukin Backwards and Shriyukin forwards is all of her moves. So, yeah. Uzuka Mayo is who I was playing as. And, yeah, not too bad at all. I think this is this is going to be a really fun game to just enjoy. Minus that little ball of crap that cheats. Ooh, there's even little comics in the back of the uh, guide. This is really cool. Huh. Nice. But yeah, I mean, the controls actually work really nicely. And it looks like it's going to be an easy one to learn how to play. Since you really only have um, small attack, medium attack, high attack, and then you have taunt. You hold down multiple, I think you hold down all four of them or two of them, and that's how you power yourself up. And then from there, you just do your attacks, and not too bad. It works really nicely. At the same time, it looks really good, too. Um, I like how they incorporate a lot of 2D art and going full 3D. It's different. But I think it works really good, and it's going to be a fun game. I just really hate that one character that's smiling because he knows that everybody hates him. But at the same time, strange to be we're attracted to him because he's a ball of fluff. Now, here's the catch. I guarantee you, if I were to play as that character, all of a sudden, I wouldn't be able to do anything with that character because the computer would know how to completely annihilate that character without even trying. That's how the games used to go. Question for you guys are, if you had the option to remove all Objob characters from competitive games like these, would you do it? And what game would you love to remove that character from the most? Now, I know a lot of people are like, oh, he's going to just say GoldenEye. No. No. Honestly, nope. I have proven time and time again when I was really, 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 really good at GoldenEye that 
my friends would be like, oh, you're too good at this game. It's like, okay, pick a lab job. Go ahead. Really? Yeah, I play as Boris Galician only. I mean, that's my character. That's the character I like to play as. And they would still lose. It just gave... It was always... Because I would always... Uh, whatever we'd play by my rules, my rules consisted of this. No auto-aim, no sights. I don't care what weapons they were. Most of the time, we'd actually just do pistols because they'd be a lot more fun and more challenging that way. We would like, and then it um, was, we'd put it on super negative so you'd have maybe one to two shots and you're dead. But honestly, I would not lose against a dog job in that game. Now, that's a good question. He's up there for sure. But there's been a lot of characters throughout fighting games and other games. Thought you'd have combat situations, either first person shooters, third person shooters, or whatever. That definitely those characters deserve to be smitten, smited out of any game whatsoever because of how they are pure evil. At least with this character, yes, you can hit them, but it's not as bad as some of the other characters that I've had to face against. Hmm. Kind of Objaw-ish, but it's also the fighting style that I hate the most, and that would be the Drunken Master from... Oh, I, th I think that was... I can't remember what game I was thinking of. I th I want to say it was either um, Virtual Fighter or Tekken. I can't remember what game he's from now because I hate him so much. I don't remember. I don't want to remember him. But there's this old uh, guy who is a drunken master. Kind of, it's similar to the guy in King of the Fighters. But he's short, and his fighting style. You can never really predict what he's going to do, and it just it annoys the crap out of me. It's it's his size. You can still hit him with a lot of different attacks, but it came down to just I hate him with a passion because I always lose when I go against him. So yes, the I guess if you really want to, we can include uh, using all job as the character who's always disqualified from being used would be the best way to describe it and if we go along that route um oh that opens the list even more Shere Khan Shao Khan from Mortal Kombat should be eliminated from all versions of the game 100% since he cheats Goro from the first Mortal Kombat <laughs> Yeah, I could go on forever. But no, in all honesty, I think that's the one guy who pissed me off the most in, in fighting games. Another one I want to mention uh, would be uh, the Skull Heart from Skullgirls. I was just playing that recently and finally got to the third form. And the only the way you can hit is you have to hit the freaking skull. And that's 100% unfair. So, yeah. There's a lot of characters I know that is going to make this list if you get, you know, with uh, your comments. And I'd love to read every single one of them. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments below which Ob Job character would just go big and small that has been banned for any reason in the games you play. You, If you had the option to remove that character because they're unbalanced or whatever reason, let me know who it would be because I'm, I'm actually quite curious to see what you guys will have to say. So thank you guys for uh, watching me win and then get completely utterly destroyed because of the fluff ball, who is not fair. It was still entertaining to try. And I got another great fighting game to add to my collection, so yay! I love fighting games that actually play good. Because trust me, if you've seen a lot of my videos, you know I have some that are... Yeah. Fist anybody? Sailor Moon fighting game for uh, PlayStation 1? Yeah, I, I could go on. 
So thank you guys for watching. It's been a lot of fun. This is T-Secure saying ciao and sayonara.